What's up, YouTube? Midnight Crawler back up in this piece. And it's about that time to do a pickups video. First up, I'm sipping on that Shiner Oktoberfest. I'm not going to open that up, though, and do a pour. But cheers, guys. And happy October. Halloween's just around the corner. So let's get on with the pawn shop pickups. Oh, before I begin, I'm going to start off with the horror movies, jump to exploitation, um, non horror, and I'll finish it off with Asian cinema. So. Yeah, there you go. All right, pawn shop pickups first. Picked up 1408 two disc collector's edition. Really awesome. Upgraded from my really bare bones. Well, it wasn't too bare bones, but it was really shitty looking uh, blockbuster edition at one disker. But yeah, really happy for that. That's pretty cool. Today I went out hunting and I found Cursed unrated version, which honestly been looking for for a while because I needed some Christina Ricci. Oh yeah, that's a fun flick though. I enjoy it. Also today I picked up Starship Troopers. Awesome because I own two and three and the computer animation one. So yeah, needed to add the first one in the library. And there you go, Denise Richards. Hotness right there. And also picked up today Pacific Rim. I've been like kind of like wanting to see this i only saw it once when it came out and uh yeah i, I kind of got excited over the trailer you know i'm not gonna probably go see it in theaters or anything but got me stoked and i found it picked it up booyah all right now we're gonna jump on to some vhs uh these were given to me by my homeboy mondo from tampa yeah <laughs> resurrected this is one i haven't seen in years by dan o'bannon and um, yeah, I can't wait to watch this. I need to replace my VHS player though, but awesome, awesome sauce. Can't wait to check that out. And Rawhead Rex, fun flick right here, man. Clyde Barker goodness, <laughs> cheesy as hell. All right, now let's jump on to some uh, shit that uh, Sean Donahue hooked me up with. He sent me an awesome package and he sent me one of his uh, early films it's a short film runs about 12 13 minutes long it's called bloody english and uh yeah it's pretty cool man that he hooked me up with this because you know i really enjoyed it. it i'll just go ahead and give you the 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 lowdown it's like this english couple while they're out eating dinner this guy breaks into their house starts sniffing the the wife's panties and just waits for them to get there when the the English couple get there. They have like a, you know, funny accent, funny English accent. They're, you know, talking about spotted dick or what have you. Um, they all get, they get taken out one by one. First, the guy gets his throat slit. That's fun. And the wife, she gets it, she gets it the best. She's in there laying in the tub, naked titties all out. And uh, she gets chainsawed, man. And uh, you even see so, an eye getting gouged. Well, you don't see the eye getting gouged out, but you see the aftermath, the the eyes floating in the bath water. You see titties jiggling, and you see uh, her her the aftermath of her eye. You know they show her face. You know that it's been gouged out. It's really cool. It really was reminiscent of like uh, for me it was Discord service. You know some of the scenes that were in there, but this is it came way before it. So kind of saw like where he got some of that inspiration for Discord service death scenes. I don't know. That's what I'm guessing, but that's what I got off of it. Really fun though. Awesome. Oh, he also sent me Pool Party Massacre. And I'm really glad he did because this movie was a lot of fun. Man, this this had some charm to it too. It's a really it, it's a it's a lot it's a quite a bit of dialogue, you know what I mean? But it's well acted and you know it's not it's not too shitty. It's fun. Some fun kills. And uh yeah, man, some hot, hot babes in here, man. But yeah, the dialogue is funny, the acting's good, and the kills are fun really enjoyed it good stuff all right so i also went to cult classics uh convention in bastrop texas uh week the week before last the weekend before last i was vending with my homeboys at gornor magazine so i was there friday saturday and sunday and uh they they, they also let me like sell some vhs and dvds for my collection i'm trying to get rid of because i got a downsize you know what i mean uh so that was really cool I made about like 40 bucks and it was all beer money. Uh, beers were only two bucks a pop. So yeah, well, we went to dinner and all that stuff. We went to the VIP after party 
Sid Haig was there. Uh, Tiffany Shepard was there. James Balzamo was there. We got to hang out, drink beers. It was fun. It was a blast, man. It was so cool. And it was just like the little program they have, the stars. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But it's what I picked up. I didn't pick up much because, like I said, I was vending. I didn't want to leave the uh, the table, the booth too much, you know. And uh, But Aunt Jeanette Clueless, she came by the table. And she hooked me up with a copy of Pot Zombies 2. She was a sweetheart. She was just like, she'd come daily just to like small talk. And it was really genuine. We took pictures together. It was really awesome. Tiffany Shepis actually took the pic of us together. And uh, yeah, so I can't wait to check this out. She signed for me. And uh, yeah, have not seen it though. Been kind of swamped uh, watching uh, 31 Days of Horror. You know what I mean? So I'm just watching that shit right now. And uh, oh boy, Tom Martino is there. He does masks. Let me show you this right here. He does masks. Masks. Yeah. I like his style, man. I like his thing. There's a lot of... Crane, Gamera. Yeah, man. He's fucking awesome, man. And uh, the chick from uh, House right there. And uh, Bad Taste. Yeah, he's fucking cool, man. Like, you know, we've been Facebook friends for a while. And we're friends with Teacher Joe. And, you know, we all hung out. But it's really cool. I got to meet him. Down to earth. Got to swing beers. Swig beers with him. And uh, yeah, hooked me up with cheese balls for a good for a good price. Signed it. Also, T-shirt Joe's in it, so he signed it as well. I have not seen it, like I said. I need to catch up on these after October. I got some time. I also picked up his other movie, Race War: The Remake. Yeah, so I guess this fall probably in the exploitation. I think there's a uh, insert in here, some artwork. Yeah, there you go. You ain't seen shit. Yeah, I just I dig his comedy style. He's you know, he's 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 fun man. He's a fun dude. Oh, and also picked up, um, well, this guy at our booth uh, came by the booth and um, he was he was an artist for Dangerous Toys. He did this artwork right here. Now Dangerous Toys, I grew up you know listening to him. They're from the Austin, Texas area. Jason McMaster's the lead singer, and uh, yeah, you know I used to skateboard, listen to their music and. He just hooked me up with this copy, and he signed it right there since he did the artwork. I thought that was really cool because I remember that clown on, on a plenty of, you know, the CDs, the tapes growing up. All right, so that's it, guys, for the horror and exploitation. If that's all you want to see. You can go ahead and turn it off now. Or you can continue watching because I'm going to jump into some non-horror goodness. All right, I got a nice little stack here, including my Asian cinema. All right, first up, we have Born in East L.A., DVD, man, I ain't seen this in a while, and I can't wait to check it out. Love me some Cheech Marin, and uh, Paul Rodriguez is in this as well. He has a small cameo. Uh, just a lot of fun. I grew up watching it over and over back in the days, and can't wait to check it out again. All right, so, uh, snap. Okay, okay, okay. Right here, another freebie from Sean. Donahue, you can go with the Big Lebowski, and, uh, yeah, this one, uh, I haven't seen in forever in a beautiful steel book too. Oh yeah. So I can't wait to check that out. Actually gonna find some time this weekend to check it out. Yeah, I, I watch football. I love football, so it's really hard for me to squeeze in an extra movie during the weekend because I just like to see my pig skins fly, you know what I mean? Alright, so we're gonna jump on to some more goodness that Monda hooked me up. VHS goodness, never too young to die with vanity. John Stamos, Gene Simmons, man, it's been a year since I've seen this, and as soon as I get that VHS player, uh, you know, get a new one, I'm, that one's going to be one of the first flicks I watch immediately. Uh, 10 to Midnight, Charles Bronson, gotta love some Bronson, yeah, it's been a year since I've seen this one as well, and I uh, also picked up this uh, edition called Asian Connection, oh, it's a Killer Elite, four feature films, it has Asian Connection with Steven Seagal, the Wannabe and Elimination Game with uh, Dominic Purcell. Really only picked it up because Yakuza Apocalypse is in it. Excuse me. This was only a buck. So, yeah, I couldn't pass it up because I actually started watching Yakuza Apocalypse. Never finished it. And, yeah, so now I can watch it all in its entirety. Yeah, I think a, a friend lends it to me and I never got around to watching. I had to return the copy back. But anyways, I own it now. I can watch it. So, Takashi Miike, only reason why I picked it up. I probably will watch the other ones eventually, though. All right, so let's jump on to the rest of the Asian cinema, and we're going to start things off with Lust Caution, directed by Ang Lee. Uh, sadly, this is the R-rated 
version it's cut by like three minutes so some of the sleaze and the sex scenes are are cut down but you know it was only a buck and i just pulled the trigger i said you know i just want to watch it and when the unrated version comes around i'll pick that up and replace it you know it's okay if i'm missing some some sex it's all good all right let's pick up it man the final fight I had to pick this up anthony fucking wong is in it yeah big fan of him cat cat three fame love it man he's awesome man and I, i'm a big fan of the it man films but of course uh more of the uh, the Donnie Yen ones, but yeah, I've seen it before. It's still pretty cool flick. Jet Li, Legend of the Red Dragon. Big fan of Jet Li, so this was a must. Don't have it. And my Jet Li collection is steady growing. All right, here's some anime right here. Steam Boy. This is from the director of Akira, as the front says. Uh, what's his name? Katsuhiro Otomo. Yeah, man, he this is like the... After Akira, he didn't like do any other anime, and this was the next one he did. So I've not seen it. I've seen the trailers plenty of times in the past, but never got around to watching it. Finally will. All right, so uh, let me jump on to some VHS that Mondo hooked me up with as well. Man, he hooked me up with a, a ton of VHS. He hooked me up with Zoo, Warriors from the Magic Mountain. Oh, this is directed by Sue Hark, I believe. Yeah. And uh, it has a great cast, man. A lot of names. And uh, for me, it's probably Moon Lee. It's like Ensemble Hung are like the, the most well-known names in here. I can't wait to check that out. <clears throat> that looks like fun. And Wing Chun, man, with the beautiful Michelle Yao. Oh, man, I heard this is like the best movie she's ever done. Or one of the best. And I cannot wait to check this one out. Man, I'm so I'm stoked to watch it, man. Uh, Karate Cop, uh, starring Don Wong, and Chuck Norris has a cameo, I believe, in this, yeah, uh, this is directed by, I forgot his name, but it's the guy who also directed, like, Fist, uh, some of the Bruce Lee flicks, I'll just put it that way, because I don't know which ones, he did a, a, one or two of them, but, yeah, anyways, speaking of Bruce, we have some Bruce exploitation right here, I think this is more of a documentary, though, Bruce Lee, A Dragon Story, these are always fun, I like to watch these. All right. Oh yeah, you also hooked me up with the bride with white hair, directed by Ronnie Yu, I believe. Yeah, Ronnie Yu. You know he's done like some of the Chucky films. He did Freddy vs. Jason. Yeah. So I man, I've been wanting to see this one forever. Can't wait to check it out. And he also hooked me up with the sequel, Bride of White, Bride with White Hair too. And yeah, that's gonna be awesome. I, I think it's like some sleaze with some supernatural goodness and some maybe some. You know, martial arts as well. But, yeah, I can't wait to check those out. And Sean also um, hooked me up with two freebies. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. This is like a sealed screener. So that's cool. That won't get open. I'll just keep I got a bunch of screeners now. And Kung Fu Hustle screener. And I love this movie. I have it on DVD. But since it's a screener, I was like, hey, you know what? Screeners are fucking cool. All right, and last, we got these four DVDs I picked up for a buck. Uh, these are really, like, uh, these are burn on demand, you can tell, uh, from this company that I've seen before online. But they're really rare old Japanese flicks. So without further ado, let me just jump into it. Uh, one's Doro Haita, I believe that's what you call it. And this is actually written by Akira Kurosawa. And it has a pretty decent rating on IMDb, like a 6.9, almost a 7. So it's like a comedy, kind of like a... I don't know, comedy kind of inspector. I, I want to say, I was going to say um, Sherlock Holmes, but I don't, I, that's going a little too far. But anyways, it's like a comedy with a little bit of martial arts, uh, samurai action, I mean. Yeah. Okay. Next up, it's uh, Crescent Scarred Samurai and the Acrobats of Death, a.k.a. Hatamoto Taikutsu Otoko. Uh, I found out the rating was like a 5.8, like so a 6 on IMDb, uh, but... Yeah, that's all I could really like look up. Not, I couldn't find too much information on that one, but that's pretty cool. Here's the one I found the least information of, uh, Lord Mito 1. But what's really cool about these, they all have synopsis on the back, and they have like the actors and stuff, as you can see. That's really cool, you know. This one's different, though. All right, and the best for last from those four, it's going to be Bohachi Bushido, directed by Teruo Ichi. Uh, he's the one that did Blind Woman's Curse. I'm really stoked to check this one out. I mean, the back sounds fucking awesome. I'll read it to you in the, the best I can. A self-destructive 
Solitary Outcast Ronin, played with gusto by Tamba Tetsuro, confronts the clan of the Forgotten Eight, a gang of samurai-controlled pimps and whores, who got their name because they lost all their basic emotions like conscience, gratitude, loyalty, shame, etc. With his sword, Onibuchu, literally Ogre's kitchen knife, Tamba's character hacks into their ranks in a ways that has limbs and severed heads flying everywhere, and the blood flows like rivers. Along his way, he only stops to take every woman he meets, forcefully, if need be. <laughs> I'm sold, man. So that's going to be it, guys, for my pickups. It's been a while since I've done a pickup video. And I'm out. I'll see y'all next month, and have a happy Halloween. Cheers.